Hello, everyone. Today I am thrilled that two familiar faces, not only to me, but to many at St. Andrews, have agreed to join me. Marion Barkley and Kathy English Vasaraba have been worshiping in the pew next to me these last few months via YouTube and participating in our live streaming services. So through the magic of technology, we are miles apart yet together. And today we meet to talk about patience. And since these two women and I shared a townhouse together a few years ago, and no, we're not saying how many years ago, I figured they would know a lot about patients having survived living with me. So this Sunday, our sermon is on flourishing life, growing patients, but it is also Thanksgiving Sunday. So I thought first I would ask each of you to share something for which you are thankful. Kathy, why don't you start? Uh, I think that we have a lot to be thankful for. Um, I would have to say for me right now, it's family and friends, including a grandson who's going to celebrate his first Thanksgiving, um, that come to mind just off the top of my head. And Marion, how about you? Well, I too have a lot to be thankful for, but my focus this month is getting ready to retire from full-time ministry, effective November 1st of this year. So I have the joy of going through files and files and more files and sorting and throwing out. But in that process, it's been wonderful because it's reacquainted me with all sorts of people and experiences that have filled my many years of ministry in the life of the church. And so it's nothing but thanksgiving in this task of having to downsize all of this paper that I've accumulated through the years. And when you're tired of looking at the papers, you get to look out the window and see these beautiful red leaves in the autumn. So that is something I would be thankful for if I were in the Maritimes. And I have seen Kathy's beautiful grandson and indeed she has much to be thankful for too. Okay, on to patience. Marion, what is one thing you either have lots of patience for or find yourself short on patience? Well, I've been thinking about this and I think one of the things that I have discovered in life is that I am grateful for the gift of patience, particularly with those that I love the most. Okay, so that includes the two of you as well. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm, uh, my mother now is over 100 years old, still with an independent spirit, but very compromised in her mobility and her sight and her hearing. And so uh, I'm grateful for the gift of patience because life with her when I'm with her is very slow, much slower than my normal pace of life. And by knowing that love is patient, love is kind, it frees me to be able to savor any time that we have together uh, at this point in her journey of life and our shared journey of life. So that's one area where I think patience is a real gift and it doesn't come from ourselves, but I think it comes from the Holy Spirit as we acknowledge that love is indeed stronger than any impatience we might face. Okay, Kath, same question to you. Um, I would have to say that I am struggle with patience when it comes to technology. Uh, like many, you know, we moved home in March. Um, we're still here seven months later. Uh, Every system and process we have corporately has changed. Uh, so it's been, it's been a struggle to learn all of those new systems and how do they work and what do you do? And uh, Terry had to get a new computer this week. So I am now 12 hours into trying to get it set up. 
And some days I'm not very patient with it. <laughs> I hear you. It's always nice to share favorite scripture verses that may bring comfort to some other people as well. So Kathy, what is a scripture that helps get you through times when patience is harder to come by? Uh, one of my favorite verses in the Bible is Psalm 46, verse 10, be still and know that I am God. Uh, and that, that verse reminds me that periodically I just have to take a breath and stop and focus and focus on what's important and, and maybe ask God for help in those times when I'm, I'm struggling with patience. Marion, how about you? Well, in addition to 1 Corinthians chapter 13, love is patient, love is kind, I think uh, one of the verses that I draw upon is the joy of the Lord is my strength. And for me, often that comes into my head and it grounds me in the bigger picture and it grounds me in uh, why I might be in a particular situation facing dynamics maybe that I perhaps are finding challenging. And so I take comfort and I take strength from those words, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Well, I cannot say Thank you enough to both of you for agreeing to do this with me today. I know that for particularly one of you, it was a little stretching in what uh, you would want to be doing on a Sunday afternoon prior to uh, Tuesday's MailChimp. But um, as Michael W. Smith says, friends are friends forever if the Lord's the Lord of them. And along with your friends at St. Andrews, I am very thankful that that is true. So blessings to you both, to your families, to those you love, and to all who are listening today. Blessings back from Cape Breton. And Lethbridge. And Lethbridge. <laughs>